Hi folks, it's Ed with Outdoors with Ed and sometimes G. Been a lot of questions lately about how to get your Pelican product registered through the DMV or county clerk's office, depending on where you're at. Stay tuned because I have some great information for you. All right, I'm expecting my manufacturer statement of origin from Pelican. Anytime that you buy a Pelican product, whether it's a Bass Raider, a kayak, and then your intentions are to put a trolling motor or gas engine on it, you're going to have to register that product with your Department of Motor Vehicles, County Court Clerk, whatever that situation may be. Pelican will issue you a manufacturer statement of origin. Sometimes that it's called an MSO. Sometimes it will come inside the owner's manual included with the product, and that depends on what store you buy it from. When I bought my Bass Raider uh, from Academy Sports, it came with the MSO inside at the store. Recently on this Pelican Catch Power 100 from Tractor Supply, uh, they were not fully aware of what an MSO was at all. However, um, so I, there's two ways you can get this manufacturer's statement of origin if it's not automatically included with it. First option, go to the Pelican website and send an email through their customer service asking them to send you that MSO. Give them your whole number, which will be included with the, it'll be on the side of your boat. It'll be on the side of your boat. You get that whole number off, you put it, inside that um, or you send that in that email to pelican and the date of purchase and so forth and so on and they will send you that manufacturer statement of origin i just got mine in the mail today that's option number one now i have already registered my kayak and i will tell you how i did it the second option you can do is you go to that same website and inside the manufacturer's, uh, rather inside the owner's manual that's located in that website, there is a, there's a pre-printed uh, MSO in there for you. All you have to do is, is complete the information that is requested, such as where you purchased it, what the whole number is, and so forth and so on. And you can print that out and take that with you to your DMV, to your clerk's office, and then uh, they won't register it for you. My particular clerk's office did give me some issues. They did not want to register it at first, but I kind of haggled with them a little bit. They finally called the home office of the state of, of Kentucky in Frankfurt. Frankfurt gave them the thumbs up and said, go ahead and register the product. So you will have to have that MSO before you can get it registered. Any watercraft that you plan on putting a motor on, you will have to register it, at least in the state of Kentucky and a lot of other states that I know of. But that's how, that's what you must have before you can get your, your boat or your kayak registered. And um, that's the two ways to do it. Again, get on their website, go to customer service, send them an email, tell them you want that MSO, or go to the uh, owner's manual inside the website You'll find it, print that document off, fill your information in, take it to the DMV. It will work for you. It just depends on which one of those you can get to work. Um, okay, if, if this has been helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel uh, for future uh, information and also some fishing if you like fishing. And you probably do if you're watching this video in the first place. All right, thanks. Oh yeah, baby.